Welcome back YouTube, sorry I missed a couple of days again, also I was uploading just a single video in a few days because of nothing else to upload. Yeah, I'm not going to random, I'm going to just play Samson and I'm going to try and finish his poster note. Normal Samson. He just needs the corpse. So that is... Well, we've got to remember to go to the mausoleum and not accidentally forget the mausoleum exists, which was a genuine mistake. That wasn't a deliberate mistake the time I did that, I just totally forgot. So we have to go to the alt floors, which is not easy, so I'm not expecting to instantly start having a win streak or anything like that. Scorpio is better than the tears that eat it themselves because it kills your uh, range. Not that Scorpio is super great, but it's fine. Oh, anybody got worms? I should point out my neck is also still sore. Woke up on Sunday with a sore neck. Don't know if it's because I slept wrong, or if it's just an age thing, or whatever, but just a sore base back of the neck. Which is also why the Sunday stream was a little shorter. Am I going to play Darkest Dungeon 2? I have no plans to at the moment. And then Sunday to Monday night. Did not get much sleep, so I was very miserable on my day off. Because I kept on waking myself up, presumably because I was turning in my sleep and the pain was waking me up. So I distinctly remember waking up at least three times. I think I think three times. In the middle of the night. Monday to Tuesday, which is where we find ourselves now, slept better. I wouldn't say great, I remember waking up at least once. And still a little sore, but not as sore. But I'm not running on no sleep, because I went to bed early on my day off. But my day off was utterly miserable. I didn't want to paint, I didn't want to play video games. Paracetamol did bugger all. So I mostly just sat around trying to stay perfectly still so the neck didn't hurt. Because if I'm staring forwards like I am now, it's not too bad. If I look down, look up, look to the side, it hurts. But it's, it is getting better. It's not nearly as bad as it was on like Sunday to Monday. But yeah, it's, I didn't do anything as a result. And I hate not doing anything, especially today. Because I got to the point in the morning where I'm like, okay, if I'm going to record a video for YouTube 2 today, I want to start it right about now. So uh, yeah, let's go to the floor straight away. And I was like, do I want to be like half bent over a table with a camera in my hand? recording for three hours with a slightly sore neck still and in the end I decided it wasn't a good idea which is hopefully the, the right choice but it does potentially mean the videos on YouTube too will also be a little slow I'm ahead though on there by like three so it shouldn't be too noticeable on that side of things And I did get some painting done today, it's just... I was just in absolutely no... I don't do well on less sleep. I need exactly the right amount of sleep. Not too much, not too little. That's why I was basically a zombie for a week when I got Sora and she was crying for the first few nights. Now she get... Oh, I can't get that pill without getting hit. Now she gets bothered if I turn too much in my sleep because she's like, what are you doing? You're waking me up. Because she always sneaks onto my bed after I've fallen asleep. With, without exception. Did I miss an item room? I did. Oh, before I forget, the episode of Isaac, I think I ended up calling it like accidentally dour because it was an accident. <laughs> it was, I was having a good day. We will take this because Box of Spiders is good. And we ended up talking about quite miserable things like, oh, like failing Twitch channel, YouTube channel, etc, etc, all that stuff again. Kind of accidentally. And people in the comments did kind of like justify like oh we don't really like shooty games we, we one person said like oh they just like roguelike stuff so they're not interested in anything else i wasn't looking for excuses from people who still watch things i do for the record 
So don't feel the need to justify yourself. We were mostly talking about like... Uh, well, the topic of converse conversation was drawing in new people. And playing in games. I wasn't like trying to force people to justify not watching or why they don't watch most of the things I play. That was not the intention. Which is always the danger when you talk about that kind of stuff, like accidentally... I've, I've said it many times before, the worst thing you can do is complain to the audience you have about the audience you don't. So it's very dangerous to do that. I've, I'm amazed I haven't been hit yet. <laughs> now that I've said that, it's not going to stay that way, but I am amazed I have not been hit yet. If I got hit, he would have died sooner because rage would have kicked him. I actually got through without getting hit. That's amazing. Um, I'm going to go for angel deals, so we're going to deliberately ignore that. The knife piece is on the next floor. Uh, yep, just carry on. So again, just stating that was not my intention to complain. If you watch anything I do, I'm already grateful. We were specifically talking about finding new stuff to play for the stream that would also bring in new audience. Because if you don't bring in new people, you're, you're just like... Some very oh, there we go. Finally got hit. You're just slowly bleeding to death, which is... Without accidentally getting dour again, pretty much how I've been running the channel for the past year. Especially now that you earn less from subs because they did regional pricing. Hello Seeker, hello Trunks. But enough about that, not doing anything on my day off did mean that I followed through on my pledge to watch the Muppets Halloween special. On Disney Plus, it's 50 minutes long. It's called uh, Muppets Haunted Mansion, I think. And I realised as I was watching it why it's called that. It's because they either filmed it at or took footage from the Disneyland uh, trackless haunted house rides. And the reason I knew that, prior to a joke I'll talk about in it, is because I watch a channel on YouTube that I remember talking about when I discovered it. I think it's called 360 SoCal Attractions. In the coffee. Oh, thank you, Rydog, for gifting five tier one subs. Again, very generous. Don't don't carry the weight of my channel on your back. Oh yeah, there is another sub goal in place because it's getting near the end of the month, so a bunch of subs ran out. Or gifted ones, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, the reason I, I knew it was is because I follow a channel that does first-person walkthroughs of real rides. And did you see that, Sam? they did numerous ones at Disneyland where they use the same sets that are in the Muppets movie. Like the crystal ball, the hallway that looks endless, the big um, dining hall with the organ. Like, I was like, hang on a second, I know these places. So, but at the same time, I don't think they filmed there because all the sets are very, very poor quality looking CG. So I think they filmed them there, but it was probably during COVID and then they just blue screened it all. Or green screened, sorry. But yeah, it was kind of neat. And then it was confirmed because during one of the songs, they literally have the exact announcer voice that comes on if the ride breaks while you're on it. And I heard that in one of the videos I watched as well. We were like, oh, spooky ghosts have interrupted with the ride. Please stay in your seat until we fixed everything. Thank you, Rizalik. Thank you, Spaghetti Mobster. And thank you, Dare, for all the resubs. Also, how come Gonzo isn't teamed up with his rat friend anymore? Why does he have a King Prawn as a, a sidekick? Rizzo was in it. Which I think was the name of the rat from like Christmas Carol and whatnot. Uh, we'll be sick with a spider theme. Sure. They had a fight over a chicken? Okay, fair enough. As long as there's lore reasons, I'm fine with it. And when I was watching it, I I know it's like star studded and whatnot, and I saw someone and I was like, is that Bob Odenkirk? And then I realized I'd made the exact same mistake again where I always confuse Will Arnett with Bob Odenkirk. They look and sound alike. 
Will Arnett is best known as playing, what's his name, Job from Arrested Development? Something like that. And I believe he's also a very prolific voice actor. I think he voices Batman for DC stuff now. Something like that. Oh, he voiced Lego Batman. That's what it was. Yeah. So yeah, I kept on thinking for the first half of the film, that's Bob Odenkirk. And then I was like, no, he looks too young. And then I realised, oh right, it's, it's the guy I always confuse with Bob Odenkirk. And there was one joke that made me laugh out loud, which is not me saying it's bad because I enjoyed it. It's just I don't really laugh out loud at jokes unless they tickle me just right. And Will Arnett is talking to Gonzo and Pepe, I think the King Prawn's name is. And Pepe keeps on slipping into Spanish ever so often and then Will Arnett replies to him in Spanish. So then in Spanish the King Prawn says, oh you speak Spanish? And then Will Arnett replies, no. And then he just walks off. The, the, the timing and delivery was wonderful. And it made me laugh. There's only three songs in it and one of them is good and it's the very first one. The second one is okay. Has Kermit changed voice actor? Because Kermit didn't sound like Kermit and then he sounded too young. Like did the guy who voiced Kermit die? He did. Okay that makes sense. And then anytime I hear Miss Piggy I only hear Yoda now so that's disturbing. Third or fourth? Oh, it wouldn't have been Henson I would be used to hearing. It was probably whoever did it second that I was used to hearing. Because I used to watch the Muppet show. I, I like the Muppets in general. I have nothing against them. And I noticed on Disney Plus they also have uh, another or a couple of other Muppet movies I've never seen, so I may end up watching those too. It's a fine Kermit impression, it's just I could tell it wasn't the, like the voice I was used to. Which makes sense when they've been around for like 50 years, 60 years, something like that. Wait, Frank Oz isn't allowed to be Miss... Wait, it wasn't him doing the Miss Piggy voice? Because I actually thought it was him. In that case they found someone who can do an excellent impersonation because I thought it was, I honestly thought it was him because I could only hear Yoda. Hmm. Hello Daniel. Here goes the Isaac. Uh, I haven't really been paying attention so I don't know. We almost died on a boss but I think we're doing okay. Oh wait, I forgot to go to the mines again, didn't I? Motherfucker. I really need to not have stories when I'm doing the alt path. Because I always, I don't think we can get down there now. I need to, I need to save going to the alt path for the second run when I've exhausted all my stories. So that I can actually focus on what I'm doing. Oh that sucks. I, I don't think I can get down there. If the way to the mines is after this boss and we can still do it, if it's not then I'm screwed. And we'll just do a normal run. I'm on caves too because I didn't go in the door again because I forgot. The door that requires two mines. Zodiac. And by mines I mean bombs. I don't know why I called them mines. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm boned. Because I don't think Well no, it might appear. I don't know. Let's go find out. Oh yeah, and for whatever reason Jeff Knightley is in the Muppets Halloween special better known as the Dorito Pope and I have no idea why and Ed Eisner was in it as well and it must have been his final performance I think before he died there was a dedication to him in the credits oh speaking of which the movie alone is worth watching like I said in discord after I finished watching it 
It's worth watching just for the Muppets rendition of Dancing in the Moonlight that plays during the credits. Oh! Wait, is that Sacred Heart? No. He was me thinking it was a good item. Also, it is there, thank goodness, we can still do it. Okay, I rescind my, my swearing from earlier, which was genuine anger. <laughs> At myself! There's still a chance. I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt under my hoodie today and streaming makes me hot and bothered so I'm going to have to unzip my hoodie to cool down a little bit. Because it was bloody cold. Hello Willy. So unfortunately that was Immaculate Heart which just does that with my tears every so often. If it had been Sacred Heart we would have been solid. Oh yeah, and earlier today... Oh my god, why is that so loud? Is that loud for you as well? Oh. Ow! Why was that loud? Okay, before anyone abuses that, let me very quickly go into my settings and... Why is Streamlabs messing with my settings? And really quickly change that, because that was way too loud. But thank you for the bits. Is that 50% volume? What the hell? Save settings. Maybe that'll do it. I don't know what's up with Streamlabs at the minute. What was I saying? Oh yeah, while I was painting today and not doing much because my neck's still hurt, I decided to watch Nightmare Before Christmas because it's also on Disney Plus because why not? Because everything's Disney now, including your soul. Now yeah, it's one of my favourite movies. I really, really like it. Although I really paid attention to just like how much of a selfish prick Skeleton Jack is. Like he's the villain of that movie. Oogie Boogie is just a troublemaker. Skeleton Jack is the villain. He's bored of doing his job so he steals someone else's job, abducts them, almost kills them. And then, even when he's repentive, repentance, even when he's repentant about it, it he, the th conclusion he comes to is that it's okay because he can still be his old job. And then only at the last second does he remember that he's messed everything up. Although it is also mm. weird that, like, Sally is right that everything is going to be bad. Mm. But the reason, mm. oh, that, yeah, that's not easy. Oh. Uh, better. But the reason she thinks everything's going to turn out bad is because she has a premonition where a Christmas tree gets set on fire, which is a, a little strange. Thank you for the bits, Willie. I have no keys and I must scream. I do not have Table Deck Rage, stop bringing back old memes. We have new fresh memes like, Zoe! Get your ass back in the house! But I don't care if nobody likes that meme, <laughs> I like it. Revenge for Bonio is sweet. See, that's what everybody who doesn't watch Back for Blood is missing. They're missing my fantastic Jack... Baker? Is that their... Yeah, the Baker family. Jack Baker impersonations. Tinted Rock in an area where you can't have any bombs. Nice. Well, actually, no, they might spawn to get out, I suppose. Don't forget to go to the friggin' mausoleum again. Mausoleum. Oh, I like that penny.
up here. You want to see Eldritch Horrors, you just need to go to that one place we did in New World last time where there's Eldritch Turkeys. That's their literal name for the many people who won't know because you don't watch it. I'm just poking fun. Like Lojack not understanding I was poking fun at Phasmophobia on Sunday. I poke fun, it's what I do. It's the basis for my humor. Too many British sitcoms. I need this key. I guess I can always keep it if not. Oh, I did need it. Uh, we weren't stupid enough to attack the Eldritch tur Turkeys, so we don't know what kind of power level they had. Haven't found the boss. Oh, I did want to play back for Bloodmore. That part was genuine. Because I like back for Blood. The Phasmophobia Halloween update has made it that if you talk on the radio during an attack, you can get attacked. Or rather, it tells the ghost where you are. Also, the radio doesn't break until it's close enough that it will start attacking you if you do it. Where is the mausoleum door? Ah. Hang on, there's a half heart back here. I will say though, Back for Blood technically isn't a roguelike, but it has a lot of trial and error in it. Once we switch to the harder difficulty, so you might enjoy it if you're into your roguelikes. It's like testing builds to see if it's good enough to get through the area and then we die and have to try a different strategy. The harder difficulty is no joke. When did I pick up Jeff? Oh, I got Zodiac. That's right. I am surprised they haven't patched the balance in that game yet though. Well, specifically just the spawn rate of the specials. There shouldn't be three of the same one at any one time. That clearly seems like a mistake. And speaking of finding new stuff to play, Despot's game, which unfortunately I can't play until a content ID issue is uh, fixed. Tiny Build followed me on Twitter though thankfully and did respond to me but they haven't responded again since then. So the error of it is up, but if it isn't resolved in a week, I'll be deleting that, and there won't be any more up there either. Best I can tell, someone pretending to be the developers, or maybe the developers themselves, because Tiny Build are the publishers. I uh, got a a known scammy company called One RPM who put music into the content ID system on their behalf and take a cut of the money they get from content ID claims. Um, someone put the despots the game soundtrack in there. Again, might have been the devs. I don't know. But even if they did, my coverage that I did with a code from the publishers should not be getting content ID matched. As I say, Tiny Build follow me on Twitter so they did see and did reply. Without looking into whether they actually get back to me about anything, we'll see. And if they don't, Despot's game won't be back. Which is a shame because I enjoyed it short term. It's not like a long term thing. And Twitch chat was enjoying it as well because of the the Twitch integration. Definitely not a long term game regardless, but it would have been fun for a little while. Uh, we need item room. We're not going to this scent, so I can't just ignore it. 
This is like the third chariot card we've hard had hard. We've hard on this one run. Yeah, I think people like seeing games like Rimworld as well, for that same reason. Or XCOM. I wish they'd made a new XCOM instead of doing a Marvel tie-in game. The Marvel tie-in game could end up being really good. I just I just wanted a new XCOM though, that isn't bad, like Chimera was. Wow. Wait, did I leave a... I left a Hangman card, didn't I? Lusty Blood is really good. So we have Rage and Lusty Blood. I really hope those stack. I think I left a Hangman card over here. Orcs Must Die 3 is getting DLC. Yeah, I would play it if Valinor wants to. And as long as it's substantial. So we just take three books for Bookworm. Take that for a Spirit Heart. Box of Spiders or Monster Manuel? Um. Oh, we got a good one as well. It's tempting me. I think we'll keep Box of Spiders just because it's fun. And then we're good to go. I finished painting Frank Horrigan today, that we were talking about on Sunday. Oh, I don't know why that reminded me, I guess because weekend streams. But I did post a video of the Deep Rock Galactic update that's landing on November 4th. It's a very substantial update, they're adding a free battle pass, I emphasise it's free. Um, a new gun for every class, a new faction of enemies, a new mission type. I guess it's a big update. That was a bit of a waste. Good enough. Three levels. I don't know if three levels is worth reinstalling it. We'll see how desperate we are for stuff to play around that time. It ain't December yet. Wait, they're releasing it on Christmas Day? Hmm. I mean, I will be streaming on Christmas Day, is assuming it's not on Monday. But uh, I won't be expecting, like, Don or to drop whatever he has planned to do stuff. It's a Saturday? Alright, never mind, I will, because he has to play Deep Rock with me. His family will understand. Did you see that, Zach? Thank you, Craig85, for using your Twitch Prime. You followed on the weekend, actually, didn't you? I think I remember seeing that. Are you over from YouTube? Or the rarest of the rare, perhaps? YouTube too? Also, if you're lurking and don't want to talk, feel free. Well, I'm not forcing you to. Feel free to be sneaky. You watched on YouTube? Alright, there you go. Oops, oops, oops. Now, speaking of YouTube 2 in general, I, I think I'm going down to three videos a week on that channel. In terms of battle reports. There'll be one flexible day for like... Well, right, I want to have a battle report on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And then have Thursday as kind of like an optional day where... 
if I've had to move a video because of doing a time sensitive unboxing or or whatever. Wow. That leaves me that day to play with. And it's not really because I couldn't do the four videos a week, because I have been since I started the channel over a year ago. YouTube 2. Oh, you do watch YouTube 2 as well. It's more that I feel like battle reports need time to breathe, like to, to give them a chance to get watched. And there is too much of a good thing. Or can be. That's why I like having battle reports be the Monday and Friday slots, because then there's days in between. I have no bombs and no keys. Can't complain though, because items have been good. Thank you, Shotzi, for 48 months with tier 1 sub. It's close to a year. You're 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 sneaking up on it. You could stab it in the back if you wanted to. Get a crit hit. There it is, being a witch, the Resident Evil 1 board game Kickstarter has started for anyone interested. And I warn you, if you back it now, you will have to suffer through more of Steamforge's absolutely terrible fanfiction in their email updates. They are doing a choose-your-own-adventure Resident Evil fanfiction where you are uh, a new Stars member that joins the Stars team in the mansion for Resident Evil 1. And I, I posted a... Uh, like one paragraph of what is like a, a wall of terribly written fanfiction. But hang on, I want to read it out because it's really bad. <laughs> just, just the bit I put in the tweet because it's way too long to do the whole thing. No, we don't want to go out there. Wesker's tone is final. It stops Jill in her tracks. As if to underscore his words, lightning illuminates the scene in brief re relief. For a brief moment, Wesker's face turns pale white, with dark sockets for eyes. It reminds you of a skull. It's like, it's, it's so, so bad. Oh, that's two gup aims. I guess I'll take this then. It has been so long since I fought Uber Mom. I remember she has brimstone beams, so don't stand in the middle, but that's about it. Oh, she has the super food. Forgot about that. Every hit makes me stronger. Doesn't matter. No, it does matter what we take. Uh, take the damage, I guess? The mind? The soul? Yep, I knew that. I was just testing you. I'm pretty sure like in the survey they did for like ahead of the campaign as well, there was an option for like, what don't you want to see? I can't have been the only one that said, please no, n don't, don't write fan fiction. Please no. You're really bad at it, it's cringeworthy, it's not funny. Please don't do it. Oh, we still haven't taken red heart damage. Wow. Alright. To the corpse. Well, no, the, the choice they're doing is whether you follow Jill and Barry or follow Chris, and it's going to unlock different models depending on who wins the vote. I'm playing as normal Samson. We're f trying to finish off his post-it note. And if we kill the corpse, we will. If we'd gotten the final gup item, it would have been an easy win. Since we didn't, it's a little bit more in question. Oh, yeah, because the corpse is just... There's only one corpse floor, right? I've done this so infrequently, I don't remember. Also, we have Taurus for the floor clearing. Uh, try for gup item. Well, at least it covers our expensive checking. Uh, there might be, like, they might do a dumb model, like a Joe Sandwich model. 
which I am is making the tears go wonky. Immaculate Conception or Immaculate Tears or whatever it is. The item on the right there that looks like Sacred Heart but isn't Sacred Heart. Right, yeah, that's the one downside to this run. So few consumables. Items have been really, really good though. And there's two bombs. Can I use that for anything on this floor? Yeah, I think there was a stone chest back here, wasn't there? Oh no, you needed a key to get to it though. Yes, thank you for lighting a candle for my sore neck. My neck thanks you. I just wish I knew how I heard it. Like, was it just in my sleep? Is it just a getting old thing? Hey, congratulations on the upcoming update to Deep Rock Galactic. It was good. Key? Nope. Well, there's no item room, so... Oh no, there is two corpse floors. Okay, we have a chance then. It's a 16.9% chance. Nobody knows what this boss is because nobody comes to these floors willingly, so please die quicker than this. I was just going to say, isn't this the one that splits in half? Maybe I hurt my neck by staring at my computer monitor. Com computer? Did I just say? Computer? Monitor for too long. All that blue light radiation turning me into some kind of crippled Hulk. And the 16.9% chance didn't play out, but that's okay. Getting old sucks. I don't know, Arnold S still seems in pretty good shape considering his age. That dude tried to drop kick him and then just it was like him kicking a wall. No guppy. Joker card, I guess, is still in play. But Oh, that's true, he did do a lot of steroids, yes. He doesn't anymore, presumably. And he's been a lifelong cigar smoker as well, which is not good for you. I don't think roids counter that, do they? Still hits the gym. Do you follow him? Oh, didn't even see them over there. You follow him on social media. Best shot just to go for it, I think. Oh, I picked up the soul, didn't I? So some shots are gonna have missed me. Oh, wait, no, I thought it was the soul, but it was the mind, right? Is that what happened? Yeah. 
That was the soul. Okay, so the shots will kind of avoid me then. No, not the very fast one. So that double hit. This is the attack there. If you do it, you're basically screwed. You have to get her to second form before she does this. Oh, okay, that's not so bad. Yeah, let's see if I can remember what you do. about doing damage, try and not get hit twice. I wonder how much damage the poison is doing. It would help if my tears were reaching her, of course. Wait, is she dead already? Hey, that's the mod taking away her super armor. Get wrecked. We unlocked a bloody gust. That looks like an Uro thing. Nice, we actually got a win.